Hey, Scott Seger with you here, RTC TV for today. I'm at Rochester Middle School for the Martial Arts Mania Martial Arts Tournament. Uh, the tournament's been going on all day. They had great attendance, uh, nearly 100 competitors here today from youth all the way up to uh, those who have retired and, and uh, are no longer working, but they're still enjoying this great sport. So we're going to show you some of the action happening here today. Of course, there are forms or patterns, um, as uh, Dave Colger explained to us in one of our earlier interviews. Those are judged uh, separately from the sparring. You've seen some of the sparring as well, or you'll see some of the sparring as well. So a good day here at RMS. Brought a lot of people into the community, and they're having a lot of fun with this. So hopefully you enjoy some of these scenes from from the Martial Arts Mania Tournament here in Rochester. Stop! 
Judges, call for point. Call. I got one point white. Face each other. Bow. Face me. Bow. Winner. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. I got one point red. Two, one. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. One point red. Two, two. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. One point white. Three, two. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop. <laughs> Stop! Judges, call for point. Call! Got one point white. 4 2, fighting stance. Begin. Out of bounds. Back to center score. What's the score? 4 2, fighting stance. Begin. Boy. Stop! Judges, call for point. Call! Point white, five, two, fighting stance. Begin. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. Got one point red, five, three, fighting stance. Begin. Fine. Mate. Face me, bow, each other, bow. Five, three, winner, white. Well, Scott Sager here with you. I found this yep, lovely young lady. Uh, she's a familiar face. Tell everybody your name. I am Heidi Melms. Everybody knows Heidi from Chameleon. She's been involved in the community here. Now, you moved away, right? Yeah, I went to Indianapolis. We miss you. I miss Rochester. Well, it's good to have you back. It's good to have you back. So, I see you've got the black belt on. We saw you out there with uh, headgear and whatnot. You were getting beat up, and then you were laying some punches yourself. <laughs> What's this all about? Now, are you, um, what degree of black belt, I guess, would be my first question. I am a second degree black belt, okay. working on my third degree. So. How long does it take to get that second degree? Um, about seven years. Okay, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, you did... It's not a mail order thing. You can't just get it on Amazon sent to you the next day. Right? You can buy them on Amazon, but right. that really wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, it would really wouldn't work, right? Well, uh, tell us, where do you study? You used to study with Black Blue Dragon here in Rochester? Yes, okay. yeah, yeah. So, and in Indianapolis, I can't quite find a school good enough. So, so you're kind of doing some, every once in a while and some home study as well as uh, coming back to Rochester. Well, we love having you back. So um, the sparring, it's uh, pretty competitive out there. I mean, you guys are really, you're padded, but you're landing some uh, some kicks and some punches. Yeah, there's no padding in this area. No, no, you feel it though, right? Yeah. Well, it's very neat. We thank you for being a part of it. And uh, now this is something that men, women, children of all ages can do, right? Yes, exactly. From I, I believe it, they start about kindergarten. And you can get in. Once your kid can kind of listen to a instructor, they'll work with you. Excellent, excellent. Well, Heidi Melms, one of Rochester's own here and uh, doing great things today. Now, you came in second in the uh, sparring competition, correct? Yep, uh, second in sparring and second in patterns. Excellent. Well, well done. You said you hadn't been to a tournament in a while, so that's not a bad standing. Yeah, not too bad. It's been about three years or so. Excellent. Well, more stuff for you to watch here. Thanks again, Heidi. All right. Thank you. All right. Stop! Judges, call for point. Call. I will go in white. One zero. Fighting stance. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. Fighting off. One zero. Fighting stance. Begin. Judges, call for point. Call. Point white. Two zero. Fighting stance. Begin. Judges, call for point, call. At one point, red, two, one, fighting I know, it's good. Stop. Judges, call for point, call. Not enough, two, one, fighting stand, begin. Stop. Judges call for point. Call. 
got one point white. Three, four, five, stand. Begin. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. For point red. Three, two, fighting stand. Begin. Out of bounds. Back. Line it up. One, one. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop it. Judges, go for point call. Now one point point. Two, one. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop it. Judges, go for point call. Now one point red. Two, two. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop. Judges call for point. Call. I got one point red. Two, three. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop. Judges call for point. Call. I got one point white. Three, three. Fighting stance. Begin. Hey! Judges, call for point. Call. Point red. Three, four. Fighting stance. Begin. Stop. Judges, call for point. Call. We got one point white. Four, four. Next point red. Fighting stance. Begin. Judges, call for point. Go! I got one point red. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Winner, red. Well, Scott Sager, hey, right now I've got Martin Colger here. Martin, we talked about this event a few weeks ago, really uh, put it out there to let folks know. Great turnout today, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. We had uh, we had just over 50 little competitors. Okay. I say little, being kids and young adults. Right. <laughs> and then we had another 20 black belts here tonight, too. That, so That's just fantastic. And I've been watching some of the sparring, but as I came in, I watched kids walking out with hands full of trophies. So you guys gave out some trophies today as well, didn't you? Oh, yeah. We gave out some hardware. We, we you know fourth through first and then a couple of fifth place people got medals as That's well right. grand champions which are getting ready to start right now okay. get the impressive six foot tall trophy so that's impressive. I've never had a trophy bigger than me, so uh, right. maybe I'll have to pick up the martial arts so I can earn one. But uh, we just saw you out there sparring, and boy, that's not easy. No, no. It, it, it looks easy on camera, <laughs> let me tell you, and, and in the movies. It looks a really easy in the movies. I'm about 20 feet away. I had my headphones on, and I could hear each time you guys landed a kick or a punch. And, man, it's there's padding on the hands <laughs> and feet, but not on the body, right? In, yeah, no. On the, on the pad, body, you, it still turns red, even with light contact. So. Yeah, I'm Sure, I'm sure. But a lot of fun today. You enjoyed it? Oh, yeah. We had a blast. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I saw your wife out here. Now, did your dad compete or did he just kind of organize and judge today? He organized and judged okay. today. Um, sort of short on black belts to run all six rings. Sure. So we ran four. That's great. Um, and then my wife, she got uh, fourth in wep or open hand forms, okay. second in we weapons, and third in sparring. Oh, so. that is fantastic. Well, it's neat stuff, folks. If you've never been uh, around this, it's just been an incredible day here at RMS. I was telling folks, you know, you're bringing people in for, to the community here that are eating here, that are spending some money here. It's a great day for Rochester and a great event. But Blue Dragon, you're out uh, just north of Rochester on Old 31 or yes, Main, Main Street, as we call it, right? Yep, yep, yep. So uh, check these guys out. But uh, we'll have some more video for you. Martin, thanks so much for inviting us out. What a neat thing today. Yeah, it was great. Thanks for being here. Our pleasure, our pleasure.
Scott Sager, I've got another young gentleman here you folks might recognize. Your name? Jared Adley, sir. Jared Adley, sir. Listen to this man. I like the lessons they're teaching here at Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Well, we've got some forms going on behind us, so you'll, we'll, we'll keep it down a little bit. But you did a lot of fun stuff today. Uh, did you enjoy yourself? Uh, yes, sir. I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Meeting new people, having fun. Yeah. You enjoy this, the forms more, the weapons more, the sparring more. Where's your favorite? My favorite, personally, is buying, but I enjoy every event. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you were swinging those nunchucks around in places that I dare not swing a nunchuck, so uh, I was pretty impressed. It takes a lot of time to, uh, just on your own at home, even practicing some of that, right? Oh, yes, sir. It takes a lot of time and patience to learn how to use a weapon properly. Absolutely. Now, uh, tell everybody out there, how long uh, have you been studying? Uh, I've been doing Taekwondo for six years, ever since I was ten. And I've kept at it ever since. Yeah, and you are a first, second? Or I am a second degree black belt. Second degree black belt already. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, keep up the great work. Glad to see you out here doing it. And, uh, you know, everybody out there, you can tell he started when he was 10 and he's out here having a great time in his teenage years. So uh, mm -hmm. thanks for being a part of this and good luck. Well, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, we've got another gentleman here. And your name, sir? Grandmaster Joe Hernandez. Excellent. Where'd you come from today? I came up from the Detroit area in Michigan. No so. kidding. Yeah. All the way from Michigan. Yeah. Again, we're bringing folks to Rochester. We're well, welcome to Rochester. Master Hanford and Master Colger are, are, are friends of mine. As a matter of fact, I oversee their programs and their international certifications. Very good. Very so. good. So a grandmaster. Now that means you've dedicated a good portion of your life to the martial arts. Um, I'm 66. I'm proud to say, and I started training when I was 20, so I've been in for 46 years. Wow. Well, I, he's 66, and I've got more gray and less hair than he does, so he's doing well. And there must be something to the martial arts. I started right? training when I was at um, about 20 years old. I just started college, and so that's when I started training. So I got my degree from Wayne State University, okay. which I'm happy to say. So. That is fantastic. Now you uh, run a school up uh, there I do. as well. We right? have. I have have a, a community outreach program at the Plymouth Salvation Army where my I donate my time to the community for students who cannot afford to join the Taekwondo class That's and right. it's free. That's um, all I ask if they can afford to pay that they pay a little bit like twenty dollars a month, sure. you know, and yep, uh, it's they can a, help out and it's a donation directly to the Salvation Army. I take That's nothing great. for it. So. That is great. Well, yeah. this has been a pleasure today. We've seen some sparring of the I, youngsters, I have especially. To, I have to tell you, the talent level that I saw today is just. Just incredible. Oh, we love that. Well, we got the talent here in Rochester. Yeah, and, we know that, so. and the instructors are to be very complimented because I, I, I've seen a lot, and it's nice to see that the, that the traditional talent is still is yeah. still fostered and developed. Yeah, so. after 40 years to see the the tradition. It's still, still there. Play. Still there. Yeah, it's, a lot it's of nice. discipline, a lot of integrity in these people. Absolutely. Too. You see it. Absolutely. And the sportsmanship was incredible. Yeah, and it, it's, um, it's it's the tradition of of, courte of the humble, the yeah. courteous. You know, the integrity is, yeah. all in, is all in place. Yeah, we talked to Dave Colger quite a bit, and, uh, you know, one of the things that he and I have talked about is this isn't about bullying. This isn't no. about learning something. You go beat somebody no. up. No. The lessons that you pull from this is yeah. so much more Absolutely. and their life lessons. So Yeah, just like just a quick example, like buying before they go into the competitive ring yeah. and then buying when they leave, yeah. you know, so. Yep. He's showing respect to the master, showing respect to other students. Absolutely. So, yeah, I know it's all there. Well, a lot of neat stuff. Thank you it's again for being a part of this. Pleasure's Your name mine. again? Grandmaster Joe Hernandez. Excellent. Thank you, Master okay. Hernandez. Well, uh, okay. here we are again. Bye -bye. This is the uh, Grandmaster Trophy. It is literally six feet tall, which is taller than I am. And uh, we're standing next to the gentleman who won this. What's your name, sir? Ian Bailey. Very good. And where did you come from today? Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati. Drove up from Cincinnati. I told you we're bringing them in today. This is a great event. Welcome to Rochester. Oh, well, thank you very much. It's the first time you've been here. I said, you know what? It took me when it, the GPS told me you're here. I was like, I'm at the back part. I said, okay, let me turn around. I said, like, there's no way to park here. But yeah, this is my first time in here. I enjoy it yeah, very excellent, much. Excellent. Well, a lot of fun sparring today. Man, you are quick. That's one thing uh, I'll well, say. Well, thank you very much. That's what I said. It's some the um. The two people I fought at the end, I never fought before, okay. so it's different. Other people, when you know how to, you know sure. him. You pretty, the first guy I fought, I knew him a little bit, and he got me the first one. I was like, man, he's quicker than he looks. So, okay. so you have to change up, change up your pattern. You might have to start off bouncing, and I stopped to a, like when I did the grand champion, I was just standing still. Right. So you have to switch it up because people watch you when you fight. I watch them. So when you switch it up, 
all that almost deletes out of there. Say, all right, switch up your game plan. So. Changing up strategies. There's a lot to this, folks. It's not just kicks and punches. Well, uh, you are a black belt, of course. We're educating our viewers on martial arts in general. Okay. What um, discipline do you follow? Oh, tongue sudo, mix, just a little bit of everything. Okay. You know, tongue sudo, hapkido, just anything that works. Excellent. Step on your foot, hit you, you know, ji kun do, whatever works. Okay. Boxing. I don't discriminate. I got you. I got you. Absolutely. <laughs> all, now, uh, how long have you been studying? Oh, oh, 20 years. 20 years. No I had kidding. to think about that. Yeah. So, yeah, about 20 years. Well, it's a dedication and it's a lot of fun. And uh, thank you. Thanks for coming oh, to Rochester. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for